Okay, so lately I've really been thinking about the concept of a bushcraft belt system. You know, usually when I'm out for the day or out overnight and I set my camp up, normally I like to recon the area about, I don't know, 100 or 200 yards, you know, radius around the campsite, see what I can find, see where I'm at, see what kind of resources are available, you know, fire starting tinder or sticks or anything else that's not available in the general camp area. And while I could take, you know, my half empty backpack along with me, you know, it's not really that easy to carry a half empty backpack. I'd rather just drop it at camp and, and carry something else. So uh, I developed a, and it's not a new concept, you know, I developed what I think is a really, really good bushcraft belt system. It gives me everything that I would need right on my belt. Even when I get back to the camp, I don't got to screw around with my backpack. You know, I can just, I can just reach down in a pouch on my belt and grab what I need. So let me show that to you right now. Okay, so here we go on the bushcraft belt system. This is built around the LC2 Alice web belt and it's really minimalistic. What we have on one side is we've got our, our firearm, which for me is a non-negotiable item, as you guys know. When I'm in the swamps, I'm not necessarily at the top of the food chain. So this is uh, some added security against two-legged and four-legged critters. This is in the One Tigress uh, tactical minimalist belt holster that I did a review on um, last video. I'll put a card to it in the upper right-hand corner. But this is really turning out to be a good holster. And it's, an, it's a molly holster, it fits really good on the Alice belt. On this side, we've got one pouch, and we're gonna look at everything that's in the pouch in a, in a few minutes. And right behind the pouch, we've got our magazine pouch, which is doing double duty as a knife sheath. Now, the most important thing is, you can carry this while you're carrying your backpack, because look at the back of this system. You can put your backpack on and it won't hit any pouches. It won't, it, it just goes right over the belt. It won't bounce on any pouches. Everything is great. And when you want to take this off at the camp, you just undo the buckle, bingo, bango, bongo, and you're right in there. So let's take a look at what I have in this pouch. Okay, for this system, I tried a ton of different belts. I tried a leather belt. I tried a nylon belt. I tried uh, a Molly belt pad with a, with a built-in integral belt. Uh, you know, I, I tried a lot of different things and I came to the conclusion that the one that worked best was a good old LC2 Alice web belt. You know, easy buckle, nice big belt. Here's the holster. And that, again, that's the one Tigress. But what I found is, even though it's a Molly holster, the Mollies fit really, really snugly on the LC2 web belt. And once you fish them through there and buckle your holster down in the right place, your holster doesn't move. So I found out it works great for the holster. But now let's, let's work around here and we'll check out what is in this pouch because this is the important pouch. It's the only pouch that I have on the belt. And when you, when you hook it onto the belt, it's free to move around a little bit. But this, the magazine pouch that I'm using as a knife sheath, it pretty much holds it right here, so it can't move around too much. So, only one pouch, what do we got? First of all, on the outside, we've got spare magazines. Spare magazines are always great. So I carry two spare 10 round magazines. You can use it for a cell phone pouch, or you know, a little notepad, or whatever. It's got two pockets, front and back. In the front pocket, I got about six feet of paracord, really good for tying up a bundle of sticks, you know, a bundle of fire, just about starting stuff, whatever you want. It's got a bowling on one end. You know, you can you can make a sling out of it if you hurt your arm or, or something else uh, while you're out recon in the area. You know, that's great. So, I carry another pack of matches, okay? What is it? Two is one, one is none. Three is two, two is one, and one is none. Okay, here's one, okay? In here, I've got just another red bandana. Never know when you're going to use it or need it. You can use it for a stop the bleeding if you cut yourself. You can use it as a headband. You can, you know, you can wipe the sweat off you with it. Everything's great. Here, I got the old Harbor Freight magnesium fire starter. 
you never know when you're going to need that if you're if you're back from the camp you know even if you're in camp you don't have to dig through your backpack you can just reach down and grab it right off the belt okay got a fire starter this is a roll of stiff stiff wire well not that stiff you know you, you can use it to make a snare out of you can use it to wrap up you know bundles of twigs or whatever you're going to do to start a fire really nice to have and this i just got this off an old roll of uh, fence wire so that's what's in the front pouch oh, oh i forgot here's the old the old alice bandage you know this is the it's the two inches by six yard bandage so what happens if i'm back recon and a couple hundred yards behind my camp and i fall down and i i, I hurt my arm really bad and i got to tie it up into a sling or i cut myself really bad i can whip this thing right out of the front pouch uh, i can wrap myself up pretty good i can stop the bleeding you know i can stop the bleeding really good i can make a sling i can get uh, enough medical care to where i can get back to the camp to where i can get my med kit out of my backpack and i can fix myself up so it's always nice to have at least some kind of wound treatment or bleeding stopper with you especially if you're reconning okay let's go in the second pouch okay first of all we got some earplugs and i like to shoot my gun every time i go out and i, I would like to hear in my later years so i usually carry some foam earplugs uh now what i do is i carry a little little memo pad you know good for good for fire starting tinder good for writing down directions you know uh to where your buried treasure is you know i went to, to the stump uh sh shuffle shuffle crawl crawl stagger stagger uh and three times and then uh, x marks the spot or if i get lost i can use this to write down my last will and testament and then a suicide note before i use the gun that's on the other side to shoot myself so that's always good to have a memo pad you never know when it could come in handy okay now and for the memo pad got to carry a little pencil because if you carry the memo pad and you don't have anything to write with it's not really very much good okay so moving right along deep woods off and boy i tried to go back in the swamp and go fishing today after about eight inches of rain the last few days and the skeeters were terrible back there so always carry some insect repellent with you some deep woods off okay that's just the ones i carry um now this is a nifty little item. This is the little three-in-one tool that I got from Walmart. It's got the lanyard ring on it. And it's got the whistle. So if you fall down and, you know, they're looking for you, you can whistle. Uh, also, it used to have a compass that went on here, but the compass fell out. That's how good the Walmart thing is. It's pretty, it's pretty uh, waterproof. Inside, it's got the little mirror. So, you know, you could signal with it. I don't know whether you can start a fire with it, but that's pretty shiny. You could use it to signal. And in here is a striker, and it's full of matches in here. All right. That's another fire starting. So I have one, two, I have the ferro rod, I have matches, and I have more matches. I got three. So three is two. All right. The little triple thing for fire start. And last but not least, I've got one multi-tool. Never know when you're back behind a camp, you might need a pair of pliers. You know, you might get a thorn in your finger ah, or a fish hook or something. You know, you might need that in the multi-tool. We've got all kinds of cool stuff like the little saw and it's got one fixed blade, you know, not really, not really, you know, hunting knife material, but it's good enough. You know, can opener, screwdriver, yada, yada, yada. The, the usual suspects for a multi-tool. So that's pretty much all we have. And then, of course, in the magazine pouch, we've got our American Wildlife folding knife. So let's go over and see exactly what we're carrying. Okay, like I said, you know, th this is just this is just the bare minimum that uh, I like to carry in the, in the little bushcraft belt kit. And, and you know, you can you can take care of a lot of things. You know, you got your multi-tool here, you got your bandana memo pad, uh, insect repellent, a couple spare magazines, big bandage, a triple duty with our little whistle, some more matches, some wire, pencil, and a roll of paracord. So I think that's a pretty good uh, a pretty good start to the bushcraft belt system. 
Uh, let's go up and discuss this. Okay, there we go. There's our bushcraft belt system, version one. How do I know it's version one? Well, this is the first time I've taken it out. And how do you know if it works? Well, put some stuff in there and uh, take it out and carry it for a couple miles and see how it is. If it's not comfortable, adjust stuff. This one's pretty darn comfortable with the Alice LC2 system, uh, belt system that I have it on. You know, nice wide belt, sits on my hips really good. Pretty darn comfortable. The pouch is just big enough to carry some basic survival items. And what I've thrown in there is just kind of the basics, you know, some matches, some bandages. I got my cutting tool on my belt. Uh, I got some wire. I got some paracord. You know, uh, you know, I don't have a giant medical kit because remember, that's back in my backpack at camp. So this is uh, just an idea that I've been playing with. It's starting to look pretty good. It's starting to work out pretty well. If you have some ideas on what you would put in your bushcraft belt system, just drop me some comments down below. Let me know. Uh, and this is a, this is kind of a work in progress. Uh, if you like this, please uh, like this video, comment, subscribe. And once again, this is Matthew Florida Boy, and I will see you on the trail.